Hey guys, Books Nelson here with some My Team news. We got the Spark Collection coming tomorrow. All free cards, all earnable via the agendas. Let, let, let's get right into the content. So this one looks interesting in the sense that there's really one card that I'm looking at, and that's this Opal Tyson Chandler. Tyson Chandler was a very, very special card this year. His pink, I would even say his pink diamond can still play to this very day. So I expect the Opal to just be that much better and to make a lot of squads. And in particular, if you are no money spent, this might be one of the first truly elite bigs to be available in the market. We've got Artist Gilmore, uh, who I, I do think is actually elite. I think Artist is still, at worst, probably top seven in his position, but I actually rate him higher than that personally because I think his jumper is so easy. He's so big, he moves so well. Um, and Tyson Chandler is gonna fit into that. I actually do think Tyson Chandler is big enough to play the four or the five i think he'll probably hold up really well against some of those taller cards and for that reason whatever his agenda is i think it becomes a must do for a lot of players and it becomes a must do for this player because not only do i have a no money spent team but we see right there he's in that orange and blue baby two knicks players coming tomorrow now 2k if you look if you're watching this video this hartenstein card business is getting out of control we don't have a hartenstein card my my black brother on the Knicks. <laughs> if you guys know, you know. Y'all need to get this card on in the player market. All right. Uh, the rest of this collection, pretty mid to be honest with you. Uh, Zion's gonna be fun. Zion's always fun. He's been fun all year. Is Zion really good? Uh, not, his jumper just doesn't allow him to be. Uh, they have to change his jumper in order for him to be like really good. But I do think he's fun. I think you can go into triple threat and absolutely get a ton of wins with Zion. And have a whole lot of fun doing it. And this is still a video game at the end of the day. So it will be fun. Uh, Jeremy, Lin, Jeremy Lin, I think on very quick, this card gets a lot better. And will be probably in the more solid upper tier of the 6-3 um, guards. Because he does have a pretty good frame on him. But we have to see what they do with his animations. And uh, Tobias Harris, it, decent release. I don't expect much out of Tobias Harris at the, at the small forward position. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, so yeah, so that's that's coming in tomorrow, and I'm pretty, I don't know if I want to use the word excited about it. I'm excited for people who need this Tyson Chandler. That's what I'm excited for. So looking forward to the first um, bit of free content. Before we get out of here, uh, just to address a couple of my team, state of my team topics in this video. So um, number one, there's a video going around talking about content creators who are made by 2K quitting the community. How dare they be? I don't like to give a whole bunch of attention to stuff like that. And if you're aware of the video in question, I don't think the person posting that video is um, somebody we should go at. I'm going to leave it at that directly. However, I do think it starts a conversation and we can go at the ideas that the person's bringing up. And it's pretty straightforward. Like if you put a whole lot of work into to something like like DBG has and Ty Debo has, um, you're going to, you're usually going to do very well. And those guys grinded really hard and really the community deserves the credit for their success, which they themselves will say over and over again. And I think you'll see that whatever they put their work into the community will support them. 2k is the platform, but I think 2k has a lack of appreciation for the content creators that put that much work into frankly, selling their game and selling their game mode. So I think it's actually the reverse. I think 2K is missing out when they let those content creators go. That having been said, 2K is a popular game, so there are always going to be new people to come along and benefit from a platform like 2K. But the community and the hard work can't go uh, unnoticed. And I think the more important thing for the people who are here, that's always my emphasis, right? Like uh, I personally will support Ty and DBG moving on and doing whatever they do. And I hope they find happiness doing it. DBG is still going to be doing my team content for the foreseeable future. And I think DBG is like me, where he just really hopes it gets fixed so he can enjoy doing it. He'd rather play this game than another game mode. That's his words, right? But my focus is always the people who are here. This channel is if you are playing 2K, I want you guys to have the most knowledge and the most ability to have fun in the game. The people who are playing. I'm not talking about whether you should or shouldn't be playing. If you feel like you shouldn't be playing the game, don't play the game. If you want to not play the game and still watch my videos, you're much appreciated. But understand that this is content for people who are actually playing 2K and investing their time and or money into 2K. And I want those people to have as good of a time as possible 
because I want the 2K community, my team and otherwise, to continue to elevate. Because one of the biggest problems with 2K is because of the way 2K is structured, the community is at a disadvantage. There'll be more videos on that in the future, but that's just, you know, a little overview. So for the people who are here in this community, um, there's one thing coming up that I want you guys to be aware of. As you know, I am a rec player. Uh, I play some pro-am, theater, park, all that stuff. I've been a My Career guy for years and years and years. And the thing that I'm probably best at, besides generally running an offense from the point guard position, the thing that I'm actually best at is the builder. All right? When I tell you guys, if you're interested in that mode and you want good builds that, and here's the problem with the builder, and we'll get more into this in these videos coming up, a lot of build videos are for people who are trying to play at the very, very, very top level of the game, right? So they'll give you point guards with no defense because you're supposed to have a lockdown that does this and that and the other. But the reality of 2K is that most people do not play like that. I have, I might be going on, I, I don't think I'm at a thousand rec games this year, but it's definitely in the hundreds. I've cracked a hundred every single season so far. And we're in season seven. So if you play that many games and you see the players that are playing the game, you know the builds that work for most of the community are not the builds that you would take to WR League and Overnight League and all that stuff. The 2K League style. No, that's not what everybody plays. And that's not what will help everybody. So I'm really looking forward to giving you guys build videos that are not only great builds, they are great builds, but they're great builds that might work for you and give you the ability to play well with your friends. Uh, that having been said, this free content looks pretty solid. Looking forward to Tyson Chandler above everything else. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow to break this stuff down. Looking forward to that. Cannot thank you enough for your support on the channel. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.